much on it. Bet you never thought you'd see us again. Surprise! So where have we been the last couple of years? Well, let me take a minute and get y'all up to speed right quick. After the house was back in shape, we decided to sell the entire property. Hannah was about to graduate, and the place had just racked up way too many bad memories, especially for me. So, so over the course of summer and fall of 2021, we slowly began moving back down to my family home that I grew up in which has the added benefit of being on site to where our business is located. During this time, we didn't uh, get out to ride a heck of a lot, but we did go up to Michigan and had a nice COVID ride around Drummond Island with Wade and his family. We've done a few other rides here and there, a few of which can be found on my friend's YouTube channels. I'll put their uh, links in the description below. But starting earlier this year, we decided it was time to get back to enjoying off-roading the way we used to. We began planning group rides, upgrading the general even more, and getting a beautiful new Class A RV. Oh, and I also got a new Hero 11 to start making videos with again. Anyway, speaking of the general, it's still sitting on 4-inch portals <coughs> for the time being. Uh, excuse me there, jeez. But now it also has offset forward and rear arms and is rolling on 37 inch MRT X Rocks tires and 18 inch muscle race beadlock machined wheels. Thing is a monster. But it's not quite done yet. I'll have more on that later. But for now, let's get back to the video. This off-road area that straddles the Tennessee and Kentucky border is called Pickett State Park. I was told the park is actually only the Tennessee side and then on the Kentucky side that you are actually trespassing. We did see evidence of this in a few places. I don't know what's up with Kentucky, but it seems I have not been very welcome at any of the riding areas in that state. What is up with that, Kentucky people? Anyways, we are currently cruising along trail PS100 or Pickett State 100, totally sh unsure of what to expect, as we had never been there before. Let's see what we can get into here. I'm 
coming up to the area that says danger. While Donnie is working on getting out of the Major General and putting on my axle off-road helmet, I'd like you to take note of the pro-level stabilization of this Hero 11, as well as the crisp 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Just gorgeous. Of course, the file size and upload time is going to be horrendous. But for all its new highly advanced tech, it still makes these steep rock hills and ledges look like a route your gram gram took to church on Sunday in her Buick. For reference, keep in mind my tires are three feet tall and these ledges are swallowing them up. Also note Donnie's difficulty in getting down <laughs> to the bottom of this hill. How are 
were they doing? Did you notice? They were. They were. But, but not too much. Not too much. Good. Temperature says it's 58. Fortunately, there was no caver tunnel down there. It was just a gate that was closed, and we ended up turning around and just coming right back to the same area. Here and 
take the red trail down to that same spot. Yeah. That way we can see if we miss anything cool. Nobody this tall. Yeah. Light bar hit in, broke it, broke the stick. Forcing 
us in it, they can't find us, can they? I like creeks. Is that it? Yeah, that looks like a Derek, don't it? Mm -hmm. Or not a Derek. What do they call them things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wall pump. It has a name now. I forget what it is. Ow. A dingleberry. I, I hope not. That would be kind of awful. Wow, look at there. Big heavy duty stuff here. Mm -hmm. right in the middle of it. Yeah. Must have been a cable. Yeah, like a winch. Ran a belt on it, yeah. yeah, I think that's cable. It's some sort of, some sort of winch. I don't know. Just don't pick none of it. Yuck. Oh, wow. Cool. I don't think it's been in operation for a while. It worked. Oh, it worked at some point. Yeah. <laughs> It blew something. Well, it wouldn't have ran dry. Why wouldn't they keep it going, I wonder? They, they can run dry if it's a small deposit, yeah. Mm. But then they fill up over time again. Quite a mess. Is that where it pumps it to? Probably, yeah. Filled that drum up over time and then they bring a truck down in here and haul it out. A 
I would imagine. Look, there's even a barrel. Huh. Oh, there's a lot of... We got some moonshiners going on? Maybe. Valvoline, anti-wear hydraulic oil. Elk? Yeah, there's there's elk in this area. When we were at Windrock in uh, February, we came across a herd of them, and they yeah they were they were quite sizable, and they wasn't afraid of us. We had one of them walk. Probably within 20 feet of us. I was looking to see if I saw any bear tracks or anything. They're so much bigger than our deer, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize how big they were. Like a horse. Yeah. You can't hear a thing but birds in nature. Yeah, just a slight breeze and birds, that's it. It's very quiet out here. Here's a pretty little flower. Yeah. There's supposed to be a tunnel right here somewhere. I'm gonna go back, get the buggy and bring it down. Animal tracks everywhere. Small cable. Probably hooked to that winch over there. Maybe to drag trees. Out of sound and 10 miles of this play until I crank it up. Uh. Yeah, that's that's much louder. <laughs> This seems like a pretty good spot to end my first ride video I've had in an age. I know the channel is nearly dead right now, so unfortunately not many people are going to know I'm back. If you made it this far and are still watching, do me a favor and share this video with your friends and family on social media. Share. That plus ever so gently giving the like button the smallest of taps will help get the channel noticed again, which will definitely motivate me to keep making these videos it's a lot of work and 
if nothing comes out of it, it's hard to keep going. Just, uh, just as Wade. <laughs> anyway, that being said, it does feel really good getting back on that proverbial horse, and I hope this can bring a smile to someone's face and maybe make their day just a little bit better. Thank you so very much for watching. Keep an eye out for ride videos on Sundays, uh, knock on wood, cross fingers, whatever. And shot videos whenever they pop up. See you then.